Welcome back, boys and girls, to Grade 4 Go Math. This is Go Math Grade 4 Unit 2, Multiply by One Digit, Lesson 2.4, Estimate Products. Let's get right into Lesson 2.4. Estimate products. Our essential question is, how can you estimate products by rounding and determine if the exact answer is reasonable? Okay, unlock the problem. It says an African elephant can reach as high as 23 feet with its trunk. It uses its trunk to pick up objects that weigh up to three times as much as a 165 pound person. About how much weight can an African elephant um, pick up with its trunk. Well, let's look over here. It says, cross out the information that you're not going to use. Well, I'm not going to use this 23 feet. It has nothing to do with what it's asking me to do. It's asking me how much weight can the African elephant pick up? Well, I know it can pick up three times as much as a 165 pound person. Okay. So how, let's look over here. It says, how will you use the numbers to solve the problem? Well, I can estimate 3 times 165. So 3 times 165, if I look at 165, I can say that 165 is closer to 200 than it is 100. So I can say 3 times 200, and 3 times 200 is 600. All right, three times two hundreds equals 600, 600. So an African elephant can pick up about 600 pounds with its trunk. Now there's another way. You can estimate by finding two numbers. The exact answer is in between, all right? So we can say three times 165, and we can say, well, let's, um, 165 is between 100 and 200, so let's say 3 times 100 is 300. Now we're going to multiply it by 200. 3 times 200 is 600. So think, 165 is between 100 and 200. Use those numbers to estimate. So now we can say that an African elephant can pick up between 300 and 600 pounds. So there's two ways that we did this, okay? Um, we did it by estimating the 165 um, as 200, 3 times 200 equals 600. And we estimated it another way by taking the 165 and saying that, um, uh, I'm sorry, that 165 is between 100 and 200. 3 times 100 is 300, 3 times 200 is 600, so an African elephant can pick up between 300 and 600 pounds. Is 200 less than or greater than 165? Well, 200 is greater than 165. So, would the product of 3 times 165 be less than or more than 600? It would be less than because 165 is less than 200. All right. Um, let's look at this. It says compare the exact answer closer to is the exact answer closer to 300 or 600. And why? Well, it's closer to 600 because 165 is closer to 200 than it is to 100. So the exact answer is closer to 3 times 200 than it is 3 times 100. All right, so now let's go ahead and describe reasonableness. You can estimate a product to find whether an exact answer is reasonable. Tell whether an exact answer is reasonable. Eva's horse eats 86 pounds each week. Eva solved the equation below to find how much feed she needs for four weeks. Four times 86 equals blank. Eva says she needs 344 pounds of feed. Is her answer reasonable? Well, one way is to estimate. 
We can take the 86 and say, is 86 closer to 80 or 90? It is closer to 90. So 4 times 90 is 360. 344 is close to 360. Now another way is to find two numbers and the exact answer is in between. If we take the 86, we're going to estimate it to between 80 and 90. So 4 times 80 is 320 and 4 times, no, I'm sorry, 4 times 90 is 360. 344 is between 320 and 360. So 344 pounds of feed is reasonable. Boys and girls, what I want you to do is put a star on this page. You're going to use this page to help you answer the rest of the questions, all right? Now, I want you to do on your own question one and two. Pause the video, do question one and two, then um, restart the video for the, the on the next page, and we'll go over the answers. All right, let's look at question number one. It says, estimate the product by rounding. Five times 2,213. 2,213, is that closer to 2,000 or is that closer to 3,000? It's closer to 2,000, so 5 times 2,000 is 10,000. 2. Estimate the product by finding two numbers, and the exact number is in between. So, 5 times 2,213, well, we're going to um we're going to do the estimate in between 2000 and 3000 so it would be 5 times 2000 is 10000 and 5 times 3000 is 15000 all right let's look at this it says how do you know that an exact answer of 11065 is reasonable all right so let's look at number two and let's say the exact number is 11,065. Um, how do you know if that's reasonable? Well, yes, it is reasonable because it is close to the estimate of 10,000. The exact answer should be between 5 times 2,000 which is 10,000, and 5 times 3,000, which is 15,000. So 11,065 is between 10,000 and 15,000. Now, the answer would not be reasonable if it was less than 10,000 or more than 15,000. Okay, um, I want you to do 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 on your own. Um, and what I want you to do is to pause the video, um, do those questions, and then restart the video um, to check your answers. Now, I've given you a little hint on what numbers you're going to estimate for some of these. I circled the um, numbers that you're going to estimate. So do three through eight on your own, pause the video, and then start it back up to check to check your answers. Right, let's look at number three. Kira needs to make color copies of a horse show flyer. The printer can make 24 copies in one minute. Kira says the pr printer makes 114 copies in six minutes. So let's take the 24. And we're going to make the estimate between 20 and 30, okay? 20 times 6 is 120. 30 times 6 is 180. Is 114 between 120 and 180? No. 114 is less than 120, so the answer is not reasonable. Let's look at number four. Jones Elementary is having a car wash to raise money for a community horse trail. Each car wash ticket costs $8. 
Tiara says the school will receive a thousand dollars if 125 tickets are sold. All right. So now, um, is a thousand dollars reasonable? Well, let's take the 125 and let's um, estimate it as a hundred and two hundred. Eight times one hundred is eight hundred. Eight times two hundred is sixteen hundred. Is one thousand between eight hundred and sixteen hundred? Yes, so the answer is reasonable. All right, let's do the next one. Mrs. Hensey sells a roll of coastal Bermuda horse hay for $58. She says she will make $174 if she sells three rolls. Let's estimate the 58 between 50 and 60. 50 times 3 is 150. 3 times 60 is 180. Is 174 between 150 and 180? Yes, so the answer is reasonable because 174 is close to the estimate of 180. Let's look at number six. Mr. Brown sells horse supplies. A pair of riding gloves sells for $16. He says he will make $144 if he sells nine pairs. Let's take the 16 and do the estimate between 10 and 20. All right, 10 times 9 is 90, 20 times 9 is 180. Is 144 between 90 and 180? Yes, the answer is reasonable because it is between the estimate of 90 and 180. All right, let's look at number 7. Path A and Path B are walking path used for horses. Path A is 118 feet long. Path B is 180 feet long. Carlos walks his horse down each path three times. Which path did Carlos use to walk his horse about 500 feet? So. What, we, what we'll have to do is we'll have to take this 118 and we'll have to do the estimate between um, 100 and 200, okay? It says, um, let, me, let me start all over with this question, boys and girls, okay? It says, path A and path B are walking paths used for horses. Path A is 118 feet long. Path B is 180 feet long. Carlos walks his horse down each path three times. Which path did Carlos use to walk his horse about 500 feet? Explain. Well, it's path B because I rounded 118 to 100 and multiplied by 3. 100 times 3 equals 300. Then I rounded 180 to 200 and multiplied that by 3. 3 times 200 is 600. So 500 is closer to the estimate of 600 um, than it is the estimate of 300. Okay? All right. Sorry I got confused there at the beginning. Um, all right. So let's look at question number 8. It says, students in the third grade sell 265 tickets to the school play. Students in the fourth grade sell three times as many tickets as the third grade students. Estimate the number of tickets the fourth grade students sold by finding the two numbers. Um, the exact number is in between. So we know three times what? Okay. Um, it says students in the fourth grade sell three times as many tickets as the third grade students. So 265, let's say 265 is between 200 and 300, right? Three times 200 is 600. 
and look what I circled. And 3 times 300 is 900. Okay, one more page to do on your own. Um, pause the video, do this page, start the video again, and we will check. All right, it says connect to reading, make a prediction. As you read a story, you make predictions about what might happen next or about how the story will end. When you solve a math problem, you make predictions about what your answer might be. An estimate is a prediction because it helps you determine whether your answer is correct. For some problems, it is helpful to make two estimates, one that is less than the exact answer and one that is greater. Predict whether the exact answer will be less than or greater than the estimate and explain your answer. The food stand at the zoo sold 2,500 pounds of hamburger each month. An average cost of a pound of hamburger is $2. Jeremy estimates about $6,000 worth of hamburger was sold last month. So, um, is his estimate less than or greater than? Well, it is less than. The actual amount of hamburger sold is 486 pounds. So, that, um, so it, it's less than the estimate of about 3,000 pounds. So the exact answer will be less than the estimate. All right, let's look at the next one, 10. A zoo bought 2,240 pounds of fresh food for the bears this month. The average cost of a pound of food is $4. Jeremy estimates about 8,000 was spent on fresh food for the bears. All right, so is his estimate um, greater than or less than? Well, it is greater than that. The exact, the actual amount of food bought for the bears this month was 240 pounds greater than the estimate of 2,000 pounds. So the exact answer will be greater than the estimate. Okay, boys and girls, now it's your turn. You need to do page 85 and 86 independently. My class, make sure you take a snapshot of each page, send it to me so I can grade it. If you do great on it, thumbs up. If you miss too many problems, you will be hearing from me and we will need to set up a time where we can meet. Again, my class, make sure that you take a snapshot of these two pages, 85 and 86, and get it to me as soon as you're done. All right, that is the end of our lesson. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Awesome Possum Classroom 451. If you would like these worksheets, email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com and I will send you the link. Have a great day. Bye-bye.